Two players, as you said, in decent form. Both tasted victory recently. Two months ago, Van der Pass, and just last month, Josh Payne. Winning his first players' championship event. And it's difficult to call which way this one might go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Benito to throw first. Game on. Yeah, well, for me, I believe that Benito is just a little bit further on in his development as a dart player than Josh Payne. Just because you look at the amount of big stage experience he's had. He's already made a final of one of these European Tour events. He was beaten by Michael Smith in Risa. 60. A couple of last 16 runs at the biggest of them all, the World Championship. And he looks set to me to be, you know, of the, the crop of young players around at the moment, perhaps the next to go and join that elite level, following in the 58. footsteps of, of Michael Smith, of course, who's, who made it into the Premier League this year. But Josh Payne, certainly a very exciting young talent. You don't win PDC titles unless you have a serious amount of talent. No, certainly not. Van der Pass is um, seeded. 140. Well, for, for all of these tournaments now, regular fixture on the European Tour events. I think last time I was sat with you, Dan, watching one of these matches, he came 60. very, very close to hitting a nine dart leg in Venre. I had the Dutch darts masters, yeah, of course. Yeah, he certainly got that in his locker. 41. He's had one career nine darter, Benito van der Pass. Yep, his first match of the tournament as a seeded player, Josh Payne. Overcame the challenge of West Newton yesterday. Benito, you require 131. 6-3, not spectacular, but he did the job. 13s now. Oh, look at this, Benito. 115. This is inside, but he'll be back for double eight. Josh Payne, all he can do is hit something big and hope. It yeah, looks fairly comfortable as long as he hits the double. 140. Benito, you require 16. And that double is double eight. And he tickled the barrel. And slide Get it along the side. Leg. Yes, you can. Benito van der Pass. One nil van der Pass. Second leg is Josh to throw first. Game on. Yeah, well, we have seen a, a little bit more of Benito over the last couple of years because he's been a regular fixture on the Euro Tour. 77. And as we've already mentioned, he's played a lot of big stage darts. And there are times when he's illustrated his ability... His all-round ability, you know, that I remember at the Players' Championship Finals, he played a long-format game and hit something like 70% of his doubles. Against James Wade, yeah. Mm. And then he's shown that he can mix it with the, the sco big scorers of, of world darts. You know, when he gets going, he can hammer that treble and He's quite capable of throwing big ton-plus averages. So if he can put it all together on a, on a regular basis then there's no other option. He's going to be right up there in the world rankings and challenging for things on a regular basis. They're certainly moving in the right direction, as is his opponent. Moving in the right direction in this leg as well. 134. Help. Not on a finish after nine darts. That's what Gary Anderson says he always aims for, to be on mm. some kind 100. of finish after nine. Just require 150. Yeah, Justin Pipe was saying much the same thing to us when he was in the commentary box in Gibraltar. Doesn't matter if it's a massive one, but if you've left yourself a chance after nine darts, then you're always going to be putting pressure on your opponent, whether it's your throw or theirs. 99. Joshua require 52. So then, Josh Payne to level the match up. Is it 12 for tops or 20 for double 16? It's the latter. Double eight. 44. Chance. Benito require 112. You just spoke about that match when Van der Pass hit all those doubles. It was a string of combination finishes like this. They did it and he's got the first part of the equation. 12 for double top. Game oh, shot the second leg. Strikes. Benito Van der Pass. Third leg is Benito out. to throw first. Game and on. He's taken the opportunity and landed the first blow in this one. One 
100. Benito has got quite a bit of experience. I mean, he's only what, 23 now. But he won in the BDO. Six switched. Managed to win one of their big tournaments, the German Open, beat Tony O'Shea in the final, but along the way beat Ted Anke and Robbie Green, Jan Decker, who was 18 years old at the time. 135. The first 180. Yeah, we ne never really made much progress at the lake side, or any progress at the lake side. Three first round exits. He's making excellent progress here. 180! The treble 20 bed for the event, 100th maximum. We just had to work, wait for Kirk Bevans to confirm that then. 140! Benito require 86. 86 for Benito, treble 18. For double 16. 11 data, 3 0, Benito and pass. Benito van der Poor pass. Josh to throw first, game on. A very strong start from Big Ben. 100. Yeah, well, most matches this evening have been comprehensive wins for seeded players. Kyle Anderson booking the trend by sending Suljevic home, albeit a short distance. 96. But Chisnell, Klassen, Wright, Van Gerwen and Taylor all had very, very comfortable victories. 93. Yeah, and the winner of this one will face Terry Jenkins. Former finalist on the European Tour, multiple major finalists. This is the same 96. quarter of the draw with Peter Snakebite Wright and Alan Norris. The bottom half, where you've also got this fascinating quarter, which will be 96. set up at the end of the final match tonight, Michael Smith against Mark Frost, but you've got Ian White, Ron Muhlenkamp, and Nigel Hayden. So a few surprise packages in there as Benito. 164. Oh, how good is that? Fabulous. Leaves himself a finish, puts pain under pressure. That's a big treble. Another one would be a lovely response. 140. Fantastic. Benito Benito 145. Pain, 145. Here's Van der Pass a squeak at a 4 0 lead. Another. Needed the treble 18. 89. Josh Uruguay 72. 72, and it might have to go, Josh. Great dart, double 18. Game oh, shot on the full leg. Josh 20 goal, two dart check out from Josh Benito Payne, and he does get a first leg on the board. Very, very composed there. Because he's been under it in this match. He's going to be in this leg as well. One hundred oh, fantastic from Van der Pass. Off for the maximum. Now, what's Payne got in the locker? One hundred. Oh, he's in there again. That's a wonderful dart. I'm, I'm astounded he didn't follow it with another one. One hundred. But he's still averaging well in excess of 100, Benito van der Pass. Well, his compatriot MVG announced himself onto the stage tonight by throwing 100. six darts straight at the treble 20. And he averaged just a sliver under 110. Which is just about where van der Pass is now. But going up. 140. Now, as we know... People can average 115, and as long as you average around about 100 and take your chances, you can still beat them. 96. But but you right now, 81. it's not enough for Josh Payne, because this could well be a second 11 data for Benito van der Pass. It's not going to be. He'll go treble 10, I would think, here. He doesn't need to use 12 in the bullseye. No, 20 will leave double 16 when he returns. 49. Keeps it nice and high away from that treble bed. Yeah, the most important thing is getting a leg one. Still be under a little bit of pressure. 125. Yep. Benito, you require 32. But Van der Pass finishing a very strong part of his game. Game shot on the fifth leg. Benito Van der Pass. And that's reflected. Six leg is just to throw first. Game on. 
Josh Payne himself is averaging, you know, just shy of 100. He's not doing a great deal wrong. It's just Benito is... 100! Oh, he's just flown out the blocks. Look at that, 120 first nine average. And that's where he's battering Josh and the scoring at the start of legs. It's buying him opportunities. <laughs> he's not missing much at the end. So, 108 60. average overall. This is second only to MVG in terms of the quality we have seen. Although... It's not over yet. 100! Yes. Plenty of people average this sort of stuff, and then by the end of the match, it's dropped below 100, and sometimes it's dropped below 100 and they've lost. But Benito van der Pas quite capable of continuing this sort of form. 58. As he fires in a 58. Man, lovely. 17, 15, 11, 14, 13. 11 darts of the standout leg, three legs in five visits. 60! Taking an extra visit, a sixth visit to the board. They're all very tidy stuff. That 112 was a real big moment in the second leg to get the break of throw. And look at this. It's another. In the last four legs, Benito van der Pass is at 3 one And he hit a 164 to set up a shot. Yeah, he's not doing much wrong. 57. But looks like he'll be first to a finish. And how low will that finish be? 140. And looking for another break of throw when he returns. 60. Benito, you require 63. No, 63 for Benito van der Pass. Is it 13's first up? It is, and he's hit it again. So double 12 is what he wants for 5 1. Game and shot he gets on the it. Leg. Benito it's van another der Pass. Leg of darts. Seven leg is Benito to throw well, first. Or fewer. Game on. And Benito van der Pass on the brink of another commanding win here this evening. It's only Kyle Anderson that has stood up to the seeded players tonight. But I'm not really sure that you could ask a great deal more of Josh Payne because Benito 57. has just been stunning. It's a good performance from Payne, but it's a, a fantastic one from his opponent. Still averaging 42. way, way above 100. Over 105, actually. 52. It's looking like a decent night for the Dutch. Klassen through. Van Gerwen through. Van der Pass one leg away. Yeah, and all those are quite capable of going all the way in this one. Klassen will face Kyle Anderson tomorrow. That's in the same court of the draw as MVG, who's got to get past Steve Beaton. 134. 134 from Van der Pass, and he continues what appears to be an inexorable march towards victory. 97. Payne's still battling, but it's just not enough at the minute. Benito Van der Pass saw Kyle Anderson record a third win out of three against Mensor Sulevich. This would be 95. a similar situation. Benito's won both the previous meetings between these two. Admittedly, they weren't particularly recent. One last year, one the year before. Josh and Payne. One the maximum. His first. Then it's left him a finish. Granted, Benito will be a probably still favourite for the leg after this. He definitely will be now, but Payne does get a shot. 81. Joshua require 140. Slack last dart from Benito. It's on. Not anymore. So Van der Pas will return for 82 to finish the job as Payne Benito suffers require an unfortunate 82. bounce out of the board. 82 for Van der Pas for a place in round three. Ball double 16. 17 tops. Tops he wants. 62. One match start miss. Joshua requires 60. For a break of throw. He's not managed to do that so far in this match. <laughs> okay, double double, why not? Double five. 55. Well, Josh Penn did hit a double in that combination. 20. Not the one he wanted when he wanted it. And Van der Pass will now return. Big Ben wants double ten. Getting harder. Well, 10 score. Proved to be the Joshua case. Joshua require 5. Penn gets another chance. 
Big one first. Now down for double two. Has Back he up. blocked some of that bed? Well, let's see. No score. Yeah, I think it sort of... But he's here a quiet Hit the flight on the way through. And diverted off its course. Well, it's the scrappiest leg of the match by quite some distance here, but Benito van der Pass won't really mind as long as he gets it. And Game he does shot, get it. And Benito, Benito van der Pass, all right. The average dip below 100 in the end, but for the vast majority of it, he was in superb form. Big Ben into the final day of action here at the Austria Darts Open. He beats Josh Payne 6-1 and sets up a last 16 clash with the number 10 seed, Terry Jenkins. We've got one more space in the final round of action for the final spot to be decided in the last...